Okay, so I've got a new microphone for my SLR camera and here I clearly haven't learned that I need to turn it on before I start filming. So this is me talking about the fact that we haven't got uh, the engine in the Sierra at the moment. The old 1800 uh, silver top with the supercharger has been ripped out and we had a problem with the uh, it blown a head gasket and we had water in the cylinders. So that's now been scrapped uh, in favour for our new engine, which is a ST170 2 litre uh, engine which we're going to now turbocharge and do without the uh, this is the old supercharger uh, which should give us a bit more power we have painted it as you can clearly see in a very leery shade of hot pink vht engine enamel um, we've also been fiddling around trying to get the oil pickup uh, system to work which involves having to space off the uh, mains cap bolts because the silver tops are different to the black tops once we've sorted that issue out then we've refit our g19 engineering sump uh, we've modified our water pump to the outlet so it clears the exhaust header on primary one just tig welded a bent pipe on that with a little swaged end we've got the uh, legendary cock and balls bracket for the idler tensioner and we've also put some metal idler pulleys on the uh, water pump housing to reroute the water pipe to clear our Ike engineering thermostat rail and water rail that comes in underneath the uh, inlet manifold on that side. Once we've got all that buttoned up, we'll pop the, pop the sun back on, pop all the pulleys on, uh, time up the cam timing. Uh, rocker cover can go back on once it's finished off and been, been painted. Uh, and we've got all these bits seals, gaskets, bearings, filters, etc. Uh, so it's a nice fresh engine when it all goes back in. So cleaned up the surfaces and with four little blobs of sealer where the joins are between the oil pump housing and the tail end housing, bolted the G19 sump back on, talked it all up and then we're ready to rock and roll with the rest of it. <laughs> going. Pop the alternator bracket on. Yeah, that hole needs opening up still. So here's the uh, Ike engineering thermostat housing and water rail. That'll run down the underside of the inlet. Once we've got the alternator here, the pipe should uh, stick through this bit here. Then we've also got our uh, Torx bits for the oil feed. It's up and over to the turbo and then our drain. Uh, Zach welded this in a AN fitting into the sump so we can have our oil return on this side. And you can see where we've had to Kemi Metal, we've tapped and boxed a bolt in there for the old uh, dipstick tube. And then the new dipstick tube all runs down into this bit here on the sump. So here is the VVT delete kit and uh, Adam's just put the bung in there but we've got to try and get round and then there's a little retaining screw that you've got to pop in the underside of that without it falling down into the head so that's the next challenge so that's the retaining bolt that holds the little bung on boom, nice to get that in okay so just doing the cam timing now um, we've got the lock-in plate in the back there which uh, once you spun the cams round they've got these notches out means you can slip that in and you know that these are perfectly parallel where they need to be cylinders at TDC so that's right at the top and you've got the little locking pin down there that goes in the block and hits onto the web uh, of the crankshaft and uh, now we've just got to wrap the belt round um, just going to double check because according to Zach this needs to be spun over so that we're starting to open the uh, exhaust valve on 
cylinder one, and then we lock off all the pulleys. Is the plan. First major issue, the uh, M8 threaded hole that's in the head where the tensioner pulley goes uh, was all cross-threaded and mangled up so we've had to drill it out to 8.5 and we're now going to tap it to a M10, run a bigger bolt in it. Watch me break something. Yep. Yep. Nice. Okay, so now that's the exhaust cam. The inlet cam is the one that has to be spun round so that these two start to open to one mil. Yeah? Mm-hmm. And then we can tighten that up with the mile grips on it. So the uh, timing's all done now. I uh, managed to retap the thread for the M10 bolt. Belt's all on. Cam timing's all good, hopefully. Um, now we're just going to take the engine off the stand and uh, drop it on the floor and we're going to just put a new bearing in the back of the gearbox and then it'll be a crank position sensor in the back and then flywheel on, clutch on and we can bop the gearbox back on. Go straight down the sun. I think so. So the crank position sensor's in, uh, and we just pack that full of grease to put a punch in and knock the, there's actually a spigot bearing in this engine, so we need to get that one out to put a fresh one in for when we put the gearbox on. Ready? Just going to make one big whack. Retro Ford Dave made this look well easy. <laughs> Taking the bearing with it. I don't know. Don't think. Have you moved it at all? What's it saying? Unless it needs to be a longer tube, because it's it just all squishing round back out onto the thread. But take three. Does it don't fucking work. The internet says it works. It doesn't look like smooth. Hmm. Need to be longer, do you reckon? I don't think so. Do you reckon we just gouge it out and hack it about? Yeah, I think we probably should just. Yeah, it's getting to that point. Oh, come on. Yes. Hmm. Unveil it. Yes. Need another one on the Yes, get in there. Yeah. What a bastard. <laughs> so once again, I forgot to turn on the new microphone so I'll have to talk over this bit. We've got our little crank seal application device here so Adam's just lubed it up. Uh, you slip it over the white bit and then the black bit goes over the top and then you bolt it down and tighten it up and that pushes the seal over the end of the crank uh, and like kind of keeps it within an aligned going into the uh, back housing and then you whip out the studs pull it all out and then you've got yourself uh, an installed crank seal. G Motorsport 
replated our pedal clutch for us. It's all new, fresh. And we've got rebuilt cover. We go on our freshly skinned flywheel. Just got to whack these dowels in. Bit lock tight. Back on. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you're going the wrong way. No, you're not. <laughs> I'll go the wrong way. Go for it. Yep. Let's put it on. Okay, it just needs a wiggle. Yeah. And pull it off and get it on a bit square if you want. Uh, put it over the bottom one first. There you go. Okay. Okay. There you go. Yeah, I think I'll go over the hit. That's the bearing. That's the bearing. Crazy. Or bush. Or bush. Mm -hmm. So you had a single piece prop made up and it was balanced twice, but we were having quite bad vibration at like high speed. So that I think has knackered the output on that. So we're just gonna slip in a new bearing or bush and a new seal. And then we're gonna try, we've got a twin two piece pop shaft, which we're just going to slap in and see if that makes a difference. Okay, so we've uh, managed to get the bearing out the end of the gearbox shaft, or the tail piece of the gearbox, but it was a bit of a pig. And we ended up having to uh, take the whole of the tail section of the gearbox off and uh, nicked it a couple of, couple of bits there, but should sand out. Unfortunately, we cracked that open, so I want to get a new gasket for there and there, and then we can put all this back together. And uh, yeah, fingers crossed it doesn't leak. So that's going to probably as far as we can get today. Engine's all there or thereabouts. Once we've got the gearbox sorted, then uh, it'll all go back together and then we'll go back in the car. Before I call it a night, I just had to offer up the turbo and the exhaust manifold just to see how crazy it's going to look. Check it out. So it's a TDO4 off of a Volvo T5 and the uh, Crazy Simpson exhaust manifold. And we've still got the external waste gate. And uh, we've got to make a uh, downpipe, big fringe. Downpipe. So that'll be, uh, that'll be the next video. Okay, so that's the latest update with the Sierra. Obviously a little bit annoyed that we didn't get the engine back in the engine bay, but once we've sorted out the problems with the gearbox, got that all back together with new gaskets and what have you, uh, it should all come together, throw it back in the engine bay. We'll have to like wire it up, obviously, make a couple of boost pipes, uh, and then hopefully it should just run. We can run it on the old map and tweak it to suit the fact that it's now got a turbo on it instead of the supercharger um, but yeah hopefully we can get it running in the next month or so get it to some shows I'd like to book up a couple more skid days up at Santa Pod and uh, I'd like to actually try and give a go at um, Rockingham although that is quite a fast track we'll see how we get on with that um, yeah make sure you hit like and subscribe with the videos um, also check out our 
Zoo Speed merchandise. I'll put a link in the bio below. Um, yeah, until next time, uh, I'll hopefully do an update on the Fiesta scene because we've done some bits and bobs on that. Um, yeah, and I'll catch you next time. Take care.